Hello, everyone. Welcome to the classroom. Today's letter of the day is the letter U. Do you have a letter U in your name? If your name has letter U, stand up. So you have a U and so do I. If your name has letter U, stand up. If your name has letter U, if your name has letter U, if your name has letter U, stand up. Well, Sue, I'm glad you got to stand up, but now you need to sit down because we have to decorate our letter U. Today, U is for under the snow. Let me give you a sneak peek look at the book that we're going to read today for story time. It is called Over and under the snow. I see letter U. U is for under the snow. Under the snow, I can see a chipmunk. Today, you can decorate your letter U by turning it upside down. There's letter U. And upside down, it looks like under the snow, there is a rabbit. To make the rabbit, I made a circle, an oval, two tall ears, and circles, 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 circles for the legs, and one for the tail. Since this rabbit is under the snow, I made some snowflakes on the letter U. So what is this letter? It's letter U. U is for under the snow. Now that we can recognize letter U, let's practice writing it. To write letter U, you're going to start at the top, go down, curve around, and back up to the top. Let's practice. Start at the top, go down, curve around, and back up to the top. Down, curve around and up. Down, curve around and up. Down, curve around and back up to the top. Every letter has two, an uppercase and a lowercase. This is lowercase u. It's almost the same, but when you get to the top, come straight back down. I'll show you. Go down, curve around and up and straight back down. That's the lowercase letter U. Let's practice. Down, curve around, up, and down. Down, curve around, up, and down. Down, curve around, up, and down. One more. Down, curve around, up, and down. You can practice later today if you'd like to. I want to give you a sticker because I know you are doing a great job listening and learning and practicing. Now it's time to talk about the sound that letter U makes. U is a vowel. Will you help me sing the vowel song? A E I O U A E I O U A E I O U, these are the vowels. Well, whenever we get, whenever we talk about a vowel, we always get a visit from one of the vowel people. And here he is, but he doesn't look so great. He has a tummy ache. Do you know why he has a tummy ache? Because he ate chocolate candies. <gasps> Oh, and he ate more candies and lollipops. He ate cupcakes and cookies. And he ate cake. When he ate all those sweet treats, it made his tummy hurt. And now my friend Yu says, oh, oh, oh. Can you do that too? Put your hand on your tummy and say, oh, oh, oh. 
my friend, you had all those sweet treats today. And now he says, oh, you can see that his tummy looks like the letter U. So when you see a letter U, I hope you'll remember my friend U, he has a tummy ache. And what does he say? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was our phonics letter and phonics time. And now it's time for reading. And today for reading, we're going to read some sight words. You look at the word, I'll say the word, and you repeat the word. Are you ready? Here we go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, your turn. And, and, away, away, big, big, blue, blue, can, can, Come, come, down, down. You repeat, find, find, four, four. Funny, funny, go, go. Help, help, here, here. I, I, in, in. Is, is, it, it, jump, jump, little, little, look, look, make, make, me, me, my, my, not, not, one, one, repeat, Play, play, red, your turn, red, run, run, said, said, see, see, the, the, three, three, two, two, this is number two. Two, up, up, we, we, where, where, yellow, yellow, you, you. Look at all these ciphers that you read today. Very, very good. Now you can sound out most of those sight words, but for some of those, you haven't learned the rules that you need to be able to sound them out. And also, when you sound out, it takes some time for you to have to sound out. And those are high frequency words. That means words you're going to see a lot. So if you just memorize them by sight, it just makes your reading a little bit faster. Well, that was our letter time. And now it's time for math. For math today, we're going to be counting skiers on the mountain. How many skiers can you see? One. Can you point to number one? Here it is. How many skiers? One, two. Where's number two? There it is. How many skiers on the mountain? One, two, three. Three skiers. How many skiers? One, two, three, four. Four skiers. How many skiers? One, two, three, four, five. Let's count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many skiers now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven skiers. How many skiers are on the mountain? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you point to number eight? There it is. Let's count the skiers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine skiers. 
Look at all these skiers on the mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten skiers. Well, it is time now for art. Usually we do science first, but today we're going to do art and then science. Let's go over to the art table and make a ski racer. For art today, we're going to make a little ski racer. You can choose whether to make the boy or the girl. I think I'm going to make the girl. I colored and cut out the little girl. And now I'm going to put some ski poles in her hands. Some people call those ski sticks. I have some ideas of some things that you can use. You could use two toothpicks. You could use two Q-tips. Or you could use spaghetti. If you have one piece of uncooked spaghetti, you can break it like this and you can use those for ski poles. So decide what you want to use for the ski poles. I think I'm going to use the toothpicks. So take some glue and put it on her hands like this and then put the, pil the poles or sticks right there on her hands. And then I want you to look right here at her shoes. We're going to fold up her shoes. I'll bring it closer so you can see. I just folded up her shoes. Now she can stand up. Now I'm going to add some skis. So I'm using two popsicle sticks. I'll put glue in the middle here and here. And then I'll put her feet on top of the glue. One here on this stick, one here on this popsicle stick. So there you have it. We made a little ski racer for our art. And we're gonna use this little ski racer for science. For science today, I made an inclined plane. That sounds fancy, doesn't it? But it's just a piece of cardboard one end is higher than the other end. One end is up and one end is down. Now, this is an inclined plane. Let's see what happens when I put our little skier at the top. Ready, set, go. Let's do it again. Ready, set, there she goes. I didn't have to push or pull her. She went down all on her own. That's because this is an inclined plane. It's a simple machine. It's simple because there are no moving parts and it's a machine because it's something that helps me do my work. I didn't have to push or pull. The inclined plane helped my little ski friend come down the slope. Well, let's look at some other examples of inclined planes. A skateboard ramp, a slide, a water slide, a funnel, the roof on your house, and a road ramp are all examples of inclined planes. Remember, an inclined plane has one end that's high and one end that's low. Let's try some other things on the inclined plane. Let's try the tennis ball. Whoa, that rolled really fast. Let's try this ducky. Whoa. How about this plastic egg? And how about this marker? And let's try Thomas the Tank Engine. Go Thomas, go. I bet Thomas will go super fast. Let's see. Whoa, Thomas did go super fast. Let's try our little ski friend once more. Ready, set, go. So that was so much fun. That was our art and also our science for today. For story time today, we're going to read the book Over and Under the Snow. Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner. 
over the snow I glide into woods frosted fresh and white. Over the snow, a flash of fur, a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them now. Over the snow I glide, past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss and out of sight. Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust, up the hill and under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells the story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up, cuddle up against the cold in a nest of feathers and fur. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Over the snow I swoosh, down, down, faster, faster, down, faster, faster, whoops. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from a shelter of spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Over the snow I glide, past reeds where tadpoles play tag in springtime. Under the snow, a fat bullfrog snoozes. They dream of sun-warm days back when they had tails. Over the snow, I stand and stare, little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop, a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from a thicket, tips his ears to the ground, listens, listens, listens still, and leaps out onto the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard scritch, scritch, scratching along underneath, under the snow. Over the snow I glide, a full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow a chipmunk wakes for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, his house under my feet. Over the snow I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises, warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallows from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery soft flakes. Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift into dreams. Dreams of cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunneling voles, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. The end. It's amazing how many animals make their home under the snow in winter, isn't it? Well, I hope you had fun today with letter U. Tomorrow, V is for very cold and we'll make hot cocoa. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you then. Have a great rest of your day.